Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show, where I try to bring you new providers, new technologies, and introduce you to the best professionals in the industry, all so you can make informed decisions. Today, I'd like to welcome Bruce Wirt, the CRO of Telesystem. Bruce joined the Telesystem team in 2016, first as the Vice President of Channel Sales, then becoming the Chief Revenue Officer in 2018. In 15 years of executive leadership, he has built two nationwide brands, led organizational growth in the tens of millions of dollars, and amassed a coaching tree of technology industry superstars. Under his leadership, culture is key. Team members need to be inspired to reach goals. Bruce was recognized as a Channel Futures Channel Leader last year in 2022. Bruce, welcome to the Top Gun Show. I don't know if I can live up to that introduction, Steve. I don't. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> we might have well, to right now. <laughs> yeah, just don't talk, and we're good. Right. <laughs> well, it's all downhill from here. It, it's nice to have you on the show, man. I, I know you really want a, a Top Gun Show coffee mug. It's in transit with Brinks Armored Car Service, so you're, you'll be getting it real soon. I have this generic <laughs> one. I was so excited right. to, to have the mug, and I didn't get it. Your life will change. Your life will change. Well, hey, buddy, first question. Telesystems, they, they've had an increasing presence in the technology marketplace over the last few years. Tell me what led you to Telesystem and how you ended up where you are today. Yeah, this is a fun journey for me. So I, I was with another provider and we kind of walked that path of re, local to regional to national and building that brand. And at the end of that path, and there was no more really for me to do there, I, um, I started scanning the market and Telesystem was a, a regional fiber provider in the Midwest. So they, they built fiber, they're, they're a subsidiary of Block Communications and a sister company to an MSO there called Buckeye Broadband. So for years, they were the commercial services arm uh, for the broadband company and, and eventually splitting out on our own. In 2014, there's an inflection point, and we decided as a company, I wasn't there yet, but we, we, the company, decided, okay, do we want to continue to invest in fiber in the Midwest, or do we want to diversify our portfolio and grow a national brand, a national um, value proposition? So fast forward a little bit, we acquired Line Systems, which was a CLEC in the, the greater mid-Atlantic area. We also, as a company, acquired a, another MSO in Mississippi, and we started down that path of the uh, the nationwide network. I joined the company in 2016 to build the nationwide channel, and, and for me, it's all three phases. You know, you have to get the channel architecture in place, you have to find the partners that match and marry, and then you have to really drive that value proposition. So here we are today. I took the, um, I, I did well enough, I guess, building the channel. I got the chief revenue officer job in 2018 and uh, it's been fast and furious, Steve. I'm having a lot of fun. And now that COVID is behind us, we're really supercharging our efforts, marketing efforts. We're uh, doing a lot of things ourselves in the cybersecurity world, which I think we'll talk about, but this is uh, this is a dream. And uh, one of the best places that I've ever been around, not just worked for. Nice, nice, great answer. What about target segments? What do you guys focus on? I'm, you know, not not so broad, but where are you focusing? Yeah, so mid market is the easy answer to that. So we're domestically focused, domestically built. Uh, we have a one of the cool things about us is a lot of people like to call us an aggregator, and and that's not really true. We have our own network. It's hundred gig pop to pop all around the country, but we are domestic. We focus and thrive in that mid market segment. So. When I think mid-market, I think of hospital systems, domestically focused banks, uh, multi-location, multi-disciplinary um, companies, but they're U.S. US based and U.S. focused. Fortune 1000, not necessarily Fortune 500. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that's great. That's great. Thanks for that. Thanks for giving that clarity. Well, as any good channel leader and CRO, you're, you're doing a great job today. I've, I've heard more and more great things about Telesystem. But what do you what do you see on the roadblock for, for the future of Telesystem? Yeah, so cybersecurity is, is increasingly where we see the need of the market go, growing. So I always say we're an inside-out company. What, the way we win 
is not on a spreadsheet. We have to tell the story. We have to look at the customer needs. We have to build a stack that's intelligent for the customer. And then we go ahead and we manage that stack. But in order to do it, we have to really understand that customer's roadmap. And then we kind of look at the pillars. You know, how are they securing themselves? How are what, how are they networking themselves from site to site? And then we look out to the world. So instead of starting with access and, and VoIP, like many people do, we want to start with the center of it. We want to start with securing their assets, making sure that they're networked properly, and then we go out to the internet. Um, so cybersecurity is a big part of that. We bought a company called Threat Protector last year to kind of get us started there. And we will continue organically and, and potentially inorganically through that cybersecurity journey. And uh, I'm very excited. We have a summit coming up in Vegas. Uh, at Channel Partners in our meeting room, Bellini 2104, check that out. And then we have a huge summit. We just did one in Phoenix and we have one coming up in Philadelphia on August the 1st and 2nd. We do one day for partners, one day for customers, um, very expensive, but it's great. And the feedback has been amazing. So cybersecurity is a big part of our future. Love, it sounds like a real holistic approach to the customer journey and what, they, what they're looking for. That's great, that's great. And, and again, your booth, uh, your room that you're meeting in, Bellini. Uh, Bellini 2104. My team will right. murder me if I get that wrong. It's 2104. We do have a big uh, 10 by 20 in the exhibit hall, so you can find that nice. way. I have well, um, more than enough, uh, more than enough telesystem branded people there. I think we have about 30 people going out, so you'll you'll run into a telesystem person somewhere. Well, good. I'll make sure I stop by and say hello as well, awesome. man. That's cool. That's I cool. I get to meet you well, finally in person, right? I, I think it, we've both been uh, passing each other in the hallways for 25 years now. No, we'll that's right. <laughs> we'll take pictures, baby. We'll take pictures. <laughs> well, hey, Bruce, I know you're a big fan of the Top Gun show, and I know you know there are millions and millions of people watching you right now. Why don't you tell the viewers a fun little known fact about yourself? So I um I always wanted to do radio. I'm a big sports radio fan, and I grew up, you know, being glued to my radio back in the the uh, early days before we had podcasts and stuff. So I, that's what I wanted to do. And my first job was at Comcast, not so I could sell technology, but because I wanted to get into the broadcasting side of it. So I didn't do that. I got sucked into this industry. I was making too much money too early. But later on, on the side, I got to have this um amazing side career in radio and i i got into this professional wrestling niche so um i had a show one time uh, on the air in philadelphia terrestrial radio and then we we also broadcast online and we had over 100,000 uh listeners weekly to the show in different formats um and i was I, it was crazy i was working my telecom job 5 days a week i was traveling all over the country emceeing wrestling conventions on the weekend and and doing remotes it was a wild time so only lasted for about two years probably caused um one of my divorces but um i'm happy to have the experience i have memories i have pictures i'm married again with two kids final third and final so don't worry about that we ended up working out just the way it should and uh we bring jimmy hart a lot of times to the to the trade shows, to our events. Uh, Jimmy's one of my friends that came out of that world. So it's really cool. It's, uh, ask me about it. We don't have time today, but, but if you're watching and you want to know more, I have lots of stories, a lot of them that I probably can't even tell here on the Top Gun show. Oh, uh, that's great. We'll have to do a follow-up episode all around the wrestling theme, man. I, that's it. colorful stuff. I love it. I love it. Well, Bruce, you're doing a great job at Telesystems. I want to thank you for carving out some time out of your busy schedule to be on the Top Gun show. I will see you in Vegas, my friend. Thanks trust, for letting me interview you. Trusttelesystem.com. It's about trust. We believe that IT is about trust. So go to trusttelesystem.com and learn all about us. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. Right on, man. Thanks for watching, everybody.